Anchor. You want to talk about Anchor? Yeah. All right. Because I'm still mad. To Let's be talk about Anchor. Well, that, that, that you're, you're coloring the, the people's perspe- perception. You got to let them decide for themselves. No. Yeah, I'm pissed off too, but like. They, they, can, got... they can have the right opinion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm the one with the ego. I'm the one with the problem. I think that's still true. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> since whistleblowers revealed serious security flaws last November, journalists have been demanding answers. After a long series of fibs, inaccuracies, and omissions, Anchor has finally acknowledged that the footage on Eufy security cameras was not, as they claimed, natively end-to-end encrypted. It wasn't. What? No way! No! Amazing! They now claim that they have addressed the issue with the Eufy web portal that made unencrypted camera live streams accessible without authentication and will be updating every Eufy camera to default end-to-end encryption via WebRTC. They state that only one device, the Video Doorbell Dual, was mm. sending and storing information on Eufy's cloud without user in- initiation. Which it is too much. matter. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. One is too many when you say it doesn't happen at all. But <laughs> carry on, we were both in, Mr. Lafreniere. We we're both interjecting to say the same things. Like, hold on a minute. That, that's irrelevant. Um, <laughs> according to their statement, this was a copy of a setup image for facial recognition in case the user added an additional device or replaced their existing device. I don't care. They admitted <laughs> that this was not in line with their local storage mission and the process has been removed. They stress that no facial recognition data was included and that they have no access to users' footage while using local storage and no access to users' biometric data whatsoever. Sure. Yeah, see, that's the problem, is this isn't about how the hardware works or what the policy is or anything. And they've already lied like multiple times, so none of their statements have any value. It's about, do I believe you at all? Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Anchor has apologized for poor communication, good, uh, and confirmed plans to create a bug bounty program. Okay, now tell me something. Did you read the statement? The statement? Yeah, that Anchor released. Oh, no. Okay, then I'm ahead of you. I read the statement. (laughs) I didn't just read the comments on it, but I did read those as well. (laughs) Are you going over it now? It specifically, explicitly, is not an apology. I'm not surprised. Because that's what they did last time, too. It, but they actually... I read the last one. No, it's bizarre. Like, they go out of their way to say, this is not an apology. We will apologize later. That's weird. So, I, That's really I, weird. Okay, if I were to take... If I were to take... <laughs> That's super weird. Like, if I were to take the statement at face value, okay? It seems like... They want to get all their ducks in a row and provide the whole story alongside a heartfelt apology. Just, But from my point of view, it looks like legal butt covering. Yeah. That's the only reason that I can see from a corporate standpoint not to apologize. Because an apology is an implicit admission of guilt, of wrongdoing. Not as much in Canada, which is why we say sorry a lot. If they apologize, they're basically saying... We did something wrong. Whereas if they don't apologize, if they specifically say, we're not apologizing, but we'll apologize later once we've got everything figured out, they're basically just stalling. Geepo839 in Floatplane Chat said, this is not an apology, it's just a tribute. (laughs) (laughs) Which is a very good reference. Um, I approve. I approve this tribute. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks a lot. At this point, like... We're gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna skip the last couple notes. We're gonna go right into the discussion question. What will Anchor need to do in order for the community at large to accept their apology? Can we ever trust them again? A massive, like brutalizing leadership change. Like I can't imagine the 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 thing that steered this ship so far. I would ever trust again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's. Uh... But then here's the thing: if they told you that everyone responsible has been axed, would you even believe them? (laughs) Like, the the problem is not even that they lied. That's part of the problem. The problem is that they lied and lied again and lied about lying and lied some more. And then finally, when they absolutely had their back to the wall, (laughs) 
They said, we're sorry that you're upset. We'll apologize once we're sure if we did anything wrong and what it was. And that will happen later. <laughs> the f*** are you talking about? Ridiculous. You don't. When you do something like okay, imagine this. When you do something wrong, you sorry, bring I need to. Show. I need to take stock of what exactly. I need to just review the footage. <laughs> happened there. Yeah, I need to. I need. I'm gonna have to check the. Vo I'm gonna have to read the comments and oh. see if people think that I was in the wrong or your arm shouldn't have been there. I'll get back to you later with an apology. Elbowgate two. What is that? That's that's stupid. Yeah. If you actually own that you did something wrong. You apologize right away. You don't wait. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's much else to say here. I mean, right, we can put up a poll if you really want. So but like, wacky. realistically, I can tell you from my point of view, we are not taking Anchor back as a sponsor, yeah. as, a, as a business collaborator. It's not happening. And I, I don't know if this is true, but I'm going to yeah. assume it was true. There was probably an opportunity for that to happen. Well, yeah, of course. But the ship has sailed. Well, yeah, the ship sailed the second that the security researcher said, hey, guys, this. And they didn't immediately go... Holy crap. We're going to fix this. Sorry. Massive oversight. Big patch. Yeah. Yeah. Boo, boo, boo. Even if that was a lie, it would have been the correct lie. I won't say anything is the right lie because there's no right lie, but there is a correct lie. But they couldn't even play the game. Yeah. 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 They couldn't even pretend. They're just like, nope. Um, nope. This. This. this, this what? what? <laughs> If you don't want to be associated with the CCP, don't act like them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like, that, that, that's that, that's the reality, right? That's fair enough. Like from a, from a certain point of view, yes, okay. Every Chinese corporation has has some uh, pressure on them from the CCP, but there, that doesn't mean you have to actually behave just like them. When you're caught lying, you just lie more. Like I don't get it. Is there like something in the water in like Russia, China region? Like, just, I mean, not that frankly, um, <clears throat> Western leadership lies that much less. I mean, that's politicians. Or less I guess, at right? all, to be completely honest. I guess it's just, it's like the bald facedness of it, you know? Like, they're not even, they're not even giving me any respect whatsoever. They're going, I didn't do that. <laughs> Right, you can't prove I did it. Yeah, I mean, they at least at least give me something plausible. Like, I'm I'm sorry, I have a rare condition that caused causes, causes <laughs> muscle random muscle outs. spasms. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like it's like Tourette's, but for physical violence. Like, I just you know, isn't that a thing? I actually, no, I mean, I doubt so extreme that you would like hit people. Um, but like, it's I don't know. At least make up something plausible. You know, help me out here.